Itacita, and scriptum est, are each words accompanied by the Latin persuasion, form, and mode of expression, with Itacita meaning so be it, and scriptum est meaning it is written, and those are the baby steps patting the floor, wrapped in a bunting made of incorporeal coney, pike, and hyrax skins, assembled with bone needle and thread of goat belly cat gut, motioned by draw to engage spiritual footing proper, with certainties require being desperately needed at the next port of authority. Which just so happens to be on our map as the next harbor, waterfront, and pile-driven mooring, in need of counsel, amen. It's not the walk my family baney, but the grandness about it, the cordial tip of the hat within and without, seen, heard, felt and even assisted. My friends we're helping formations in motion, attending our father's significance, as each being quality worthy, and if this information were by the righteous tanner applied to life's licking board, as a skin, via wood dobe instigation, it would be seen at the other end of the dryer, in the shape and shade of our father having reacquired us, where we were removed, shaken out and horsed by counsel onto the dolly wheels of soundness, yea the first shall be last, and we are to help further by. Forward see his orderly arrangement disposing, and this just may be a halfway decent message, missive, nuntius and edictum, and having said that, praise God Almighty, now let's get after the good Lord's situation. Hi folks, I hope all is well in your neck of the woods, where your blessings are extended to, from our father's food pantry and cubby, yea your gentled, quieted, and hushed bend in the river, in a locality most harmonious exceeding, as you peacefully walk by his light in the way, escorted by quietude and qualitude, and that a certain tranquility safeguards your hike, trek, and protected passage. Lord we come before you as commanded, Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy, and find grace to help in time of need. Here we are folks, gathered boldly unto the throne of grace, whereupon divine Demiurge sits in all his majesty and might, the only nimbus numen by way of righteous numa controlling, and is the same inner voice and attendant spirit, which inspires a force which invites us to sit in its council, and to that I say Eda Siddha, and Amen. Side note, Amen also means so be it. We have come Lord, dauntlessly, gutsily and fearlessly, as directed, that we may obtain by requirement mercy, Whoa horse, what is mercy? Folks it's an act of compassion, and be it known that our Father, while holding our reins, provides us an alternate stead and stay, woe back, he offers us his house, my so beloved familiars here, our Father's house is a house of mercy and I ask you, is there a certain extension this season, as in a mercy of men towards men? This is how the Greeks say mercy, Lambda Epsilon Omicron, and I ask you does their tongue not dance words to the graduated center ballroom elevated, only by righteous design? This is a mercy extended to a select, i.e., the mercy of Christ, whereby, at his return to judge, he will reward his truly blessed, delivering that prophecy of promise, made good by faith, which will be our eternal life honored, as Jesus the mighty Christ that judges those unworthy of our crown, as they shall be smote. Side note. Just imagine knowing that your eternity shall be rendered you of smite, yea your eternal station rendered brimstone smote. My friends, those of you always a few steps up the trail on me, you know why we won't be judged before the throne of Jesus, and here is the verse you are relying on, in preparation of our chorus divine, God pitch pipe. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. My companions of boon construction, it will not be the lost that shall receive damnation, as the book says we shall be found, and it won't be the legions of angels, of our father, that feel death sting, as its tail is commanded in a different direction, and for a purpose otherwise it shall be busied with, folks here is why we will not be judged, but it will be the damned that receive their new stations and estates, as we have been judged since having reached the age of accountability, yea. Being the prophecy stating as to the place where judgment first begins. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 17. 
for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? My friends we have been judged, and we have been found worthy, and we shall be given a white stone, a golden crown, and a robe of the tone of snow, when the tally man comes and renders his total, but what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Revelation chapter 20 and verse 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. My friends that is why I say that our paths have been predestined, as our names are there in that biblium bound, signed in the hand of our Father in the blood of the Lamb forthcoming, believe it, know it, learn it and love it indeed, Romans chapter 8 and verse 30. Moreover whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. For those of you that think you are not loved in this rugged pronouncement, this is God's love for you, it is an agape beforehand, and that is glory, and let me relay that verse, in other words, predestine is a verb meaning there was certain action involved, folks God touched us individually as he assigned us each, under seal by formation, and after that intervention holy we became his predetermined, predestined by the will of God Almighty, folks that's our orchard out back, scene. When the top of the Dutch door is open, and those whom he assigned their futures to at that moment, he called, my friends called in this context means that our father by calling us, he gave us his name, as called means to give a name to, yea we were named by our father as his own, and to those whom he named, he also did this, Dikayo, pronounced Dikayo, which is Strong's word number G1344, and means to render, show or regard as, justified, or innocent, yea righteous, and for those that call us self-righteous. Well that is simply not true, as our righteousness comes from the top. Then our Father spoke this word into and unto us, Doxazwa, pronounced Doxadzo, Strong's word number G1392, and means to render or esteem, glorious, given a wide berth, to make glorious, to make full of, having glory, to honor, yea to magnify, and we gotta woe back this parade and concert, do you realize that God Almighty told the world that we are his glory, and we have been honored by Abba Father, yea even magnified, made to look larger, folks I ask you, is that not certain divine? Camaraderie. We're in the stead of our Father folks, Job chapter 33 and verse 6. Behold, I am according to thy wish in God's stead, I also am formed out of the clay. My friends do you feel like you are in the upper room of divinity's council, or just maybe the front parlor all gussied up with carnation attending the lapel, with the curtains wide drawn back. My brothers and sisters in the family Yahweh, please know that when I say that we are our father's exhalations in earth, I mean that we are here in his stead, as he chooses not to defile himself by wallowing in a sloth and sludge that is beneath his immediate station, but know this, as righteous ambassadors we have no problem addressing their disgusting conduction with coarse and churlish distastement. We are here in the stead of our Father, and as commanded we are continuing the work of his Son Jesus, and what was his occupy. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Folks that was Jesus answering, then came to Jesus scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, and they were curious as to whom Jesus was here for, and he said I am come, and I am come unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and I ask you, are you feeling protective of that house right now, from within its walls, I mean are you of the house defending, are you of the man's Yahweh, can you feel his majesty in these the end days of creation, and do you feel blessed to have been invited by inclusion, a seat at this final engagement, folks we're here, and we have things to see, that were not before, and in his stead we shall see the new, and that is the new song which tickles our step on the sugar foot delivering his word, Amen. My friends in closing, we are to carry the banner with dignity, love, and might, and with that, be well, take care and I thank you so much for listening my friends.